Good morning, students. I hope you're doing well. My name is Mrs. Dupree, and I will be your English 111 teacher. And um, this English 111 class will be meeting on Mondays and Wednesdays in um, RCB 132. Um, and again, RCB is the Robinson class building, um, classroom building, and that is in room 132. Uh, I'm going to turn your attention to um, the Dallas campus map, and let me pull that up for you real quick. And basically, um, no matter how you will be coming into campus, um, this is a fairly easy, uh, fairly easy building to find. So. Let me get my screen shared here real quick. There we go. If you come off of um, Dallas Shareville Highway, you're going to go all the way around Library Lane. And then RCB is located right here between the CET building and then the Morris Library building as well. If you're coming off of 321 down Greer Beam Boulevard and you're making um, this turnabout, there's two ways you can do this. You can either go down Library Lane and park in the parking here or you can go down Tower Boulevard and park in some of this parking back here on the other side of RCB. So I'm gonna turn your attention to the Blackboard course. And uh, whether you are in my DHH or my DHI, um, this is going to look the same for you. The layout will not change. So. This video is going to be located here in this announcement section. Um, you can rely on these announcements every single week. I'll be uploading them on Sunday night. And the purpose of these announcements um, are so that you can um, kind of get a highlight of what we went through the week before. And that's a good time for me to review anything that I'm seeing that students are struggling with or still need help on. And then it also casts vision for the next week and gives you an idea of what we're going to be doing together in the upcoming week. They're typically going to be fairly short. Um, they may be two minutes long, but they'll never be any more than 20 to 25 minutes long. Um, but try to make it a habit each month. Sunday morning or Sunday night um, to really click on those and make sure that you know what's going on for that week. Um, a lot of times the weeks are going to vary in heaviness as far as what's due. Sometimes you'll just have an outline due or a discussion board due. Other times you may have a full rough draft due, which can include three to four pages. Um, so again, make sure that you just make it a habit to look at that announcement section and see what the video says and what the vision is going to be for the next week. The next part is right here, which is the syllabus. And if you click on that, um, it will launch uh, what we call simple syllabus. This is new for probably a lot of y'all and you've probably never seen it before. Um, used to be our syllabus was a document. Um, now it's going to be a link right here in Blackboard. I'm not gonna spend a ton of time going over this in detail today because we will be doing that in class, but I want you to be aware of where it's at. Um, and again, the syllabus is kind of our binding contract. It's the agreement between you and I of what you can expect for this course and what I expect out of you as a student um, and the outcomes, what you're gonna be learning for this semester. Below that, you'll see right here where it says course information. This is a very tentative course schedule. Um, I tell my students, I don't put due dates on this except for your major essays that you're gonna have. I mean, the reason being is week by week, you'll have a weekly folder with specific due dates and those can change from time to time. If we get to a point in the course where I see you're gonna need more time on an essay or we need to review a concept more, um, I don't wanna bind you to a schedule on the first day until we really get into the weeds um, of what we're going to do. But this will give you an overview and a general idea um, of what each week will look like. Below that is faculty information. Um, this is just a little bit about me. It also has my email, my telephone number, where my office is located in Dalpia's 136. 
um, and then my office hours. Please keep in mind, um, office hours are going to be looking uh, a little different this semester than they have in the past. Um, a lot of instructors have opportunities to work remote. So if you would like to meet with me in person, make sure that at least a day or two ahead of time, um, you shoot me an email so that we can make sure we set a time up and that we can meet on campus and that I ensure I'm on campus during that time. This is the welcome module. Guys, what this is, is a short video um, that can walk you through a few things. And we're gonna be going through this in class, but I know as the semester progresses, you're gonna need something to refer back to. So what this video does is it shows you how to download Microsoft Office, which you're gonna be using all semester long, shows you how to navigate the online writing center page, how to find the online library, and then how to access tech services when your technology fails, because we all know Know that at some point it probably will for all of us. Um, this video will also be linked below this one um, and it's just something that you can reference back to um, if you need to remember how to navigate something on Blackboard or find something or um, especially here at the beginning as you're still trying to work out the kinks of where things are. And then finally, we have weekly folders. Now, this is a face-to-face -face class. Um, we're going to be meeting twice a week for an hour at a time. If you're in my uh, Monday, Wednesday D8H section, we're going to be meeting from 12 to 12.50. And if you're in my D8I section, we're going to be meeting um, from I believe one to 150. However, that's two hours a week and we still have an hour of class time that we need to be doing. And that is going to be online through your Blackboard page. So each week on Sunday night, I'll upload your new weekly folder. You'll click on that. And then you won't be able to see these. These are my lectures for in class, but you'll have your work for the week. Guys, this is where you may have quizzes. You may have a lecture with a quiz attached to it. You may have a discussion board. You might be outlining that week, um, but this is also where you're going to be submitting your major essays or any drafts or any type of homework that I need to see that's going to be the building blocks for your major essays. Um, for the purposes of this first week, you're you're going to have a course entry quiz after we go over the syllabus on the first day of class you will have to make sure that you complete your syllabus quiz um, and that just tells me that yes you're in class but you're also checking in on blackboard i mean you're aware of how to work the system the next thing that we're going to have is your discussion board for your first essay. I'll go over that more in class, but I just wanted to show you the navigation of what this is going to look like week by week. Um, the great news is that you will never have to search for your homework, for readings, for discussion boards. Everything you need will be right in this folder. And if we go back to that folder, something I want to point out Right here, it says this week you will meet the following objectives and it will show you the exact learning outcomes that we're going to be going over that week that are also in your syllabus. And then below that, it says this week you will complete the following assignments. And of course, it has your syllabus quiz and your discussion board. Guys, these are the due dates that you need to go by. Um, do not go by the calendar in Blackboard because discussion boards can post those in a weird way. Um, do not go by um, what you see in the course schedule because that's fluid and flexible. The weekly folder due dates are what you live and die by every single week. And that's why it's a great habit to make sure that you're looking at that either on Sunday night or Monday morning so that you can plan ahead and know what you're going to need to turn in that week. Um, of course, because we are going to be face to face, if you have a rough draft coming up, um, then the week before I'm going to say, hey, keep in mind, your rough draft is going to be due here in about 10 days or 14 days. Um, so I don't want you thinking that I'm just going to throw everything on you the week of. Um, but these due dates are what you need to always make sure that you're looking at maintaining um, and just reminding yourself of as you begin each week. Your ebooks and material, materials are going to be below here. Um, I will link those right now. They are not linked, um, but I'm going to show you how to access those in class and make sure that you know how to use those. But again, the great thing is um, if I'm going to have you read something, I will have the links in these weekly folders.
And then essay topics and handouts. Um, when I do um, introduce a new essay to you, we're going to go over it in class. They'll be in your weekly folder. But I also know that as you're home and you're working on them, you don't want to go shifting through your weekly folders to find them. So while they'll be in your weekly folders, they will also be here in this section so that you can go back to those. Um, also, as we're learning how to edit and revise, I keep a little checklist here for you to refer back to. And then MLA and APA, we're going to be going over that in detail in class, but I like to have a resource there as you get home and you forget things like how to do a header or how to do a title. It gives you a quick folder to refer back to um, that you can look at and make sure that you're doing things correctly. Um, and then finally, the grade book. Um, guys, I update all of your grades on Blackboard. You will never give me paper or get a paper grade back. Everything will be updated from week to week in that grade book. So if you ever have any questions about where you stand in the class, that is where you need to be going. Um, I'm really looking forward to meeting you guys. Please make sure that you check um, your self-service, look at your schedule, look at the classroom number on the off chance something changed at the last minute, um, check the time and what section you're in. But again, regardless of what English 111 section you are in, this is how you will navigate your Blackboard. I'm really looking forward to meeting you. And if you need anything, please don't hesitate to call me or email me. Um, you have my cell phone number and that is 704-685-1007. Um, and then my email is ltdepree at gaston.edu. And again, that's located in faculty information. I'm looking forward to a great semester and looking forward to meeting you on Monday.